Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today, as you can see from the title of the video, I went to Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree I went to actually had a pretty good amount of Valentine stuff. Um, they had stuff on the wall. They had about two of those kind of shelves, um, front and back, like two of those. So a pretty long haul um, of stuff. And then they also had some St. Patrick's Day stuff as well. Not as much stuff out. Most of it was Valentine's stuff. So I'll have to keep an eye out for that. But yeah, so you guys can see I have some Valentine stuff, also some stuff for home as well. So I thought I would go ahead and show you guys what I got. I spent like $20 and some change. Um, so the first thing I got were these paper plates. It's an 18 pack. These are going to be for my job. We always have Valentine's Day party and so I always go ahead and just buy these as early as possible. They did have a lot of Valentine's Day cards that either had stickers, lollipops, or even tattoos in them. Um, just for a dollar. The biggest pack I saw was a 32 pack. They had Paw Patrol. They had Frozen too. Um, they had like ones that had like puppies and kittens on them. They had some other Disney characters as well. So if you guys are looking for those, go to the dollar store now and get them. Because by the time Valentine's Day comes around, they're not going to be there anymore. Another thing I got was this really cute table cover. Most of the time we don't do this, but this will just make it easier for cleanup. And it's pink and it's got some hearts. They did have another couple other table runners. They did, of course, have their, like, lots of pink and red ones as well. And I'll kind of just go off the Valentine's Day stuff. Um, this is one of the signs I saw, which I thought was really cute because it's got, like, this 3D look to it. This one... Yeah, this one kind of comes out a little bit. If you guys can see the heart right there. And even the one over here comes out too. So that was really cute. And so it just says kisses, hugs, lots of glitter um, came off of it. Uh, which I heard you can actually spray it with hairspray and it will stay. Um, but yeah, so this was only a dollar. I think this is pretty good quality for a dollar. I know at like Walmart this would be way more. So I was pretty excited about that. And then continuing, if you guys saw my Target slash Hobby Lobby clearance, um, I got this little, like, tray. Um, and so I'm planning on putting this on there, hopefully having it stand up. I don't think it will, so I'll probably have to sit it down. But it's like a little box where you can, um, like, put something in it if you wanted to. So I thought that would be really cute to put on there. And then the other two items I got, I had this little candle holder. They had a red heart, an X, and an O, and they also came in pink, but I thought their bed was really nice, which I got these tea light candles to go inside of this, and then I also got the tea light candles for that little lantern over there, and you can kind of see the little stand I got. We are about to move, that's why our house is kind of a mess, um... So yeah, so in the new apartment, I'll have like my own little like built-in shelf area that I'm planning on putting that at. So that will go on it. And maybe this, um, but it says like a key with a lock and it says love and it is plastic, which I thought was actually really cool. So I guess you could use this for drinking like if you want to put like some, you know, like orange juice in it to make it look, you know, cute. But I'm just going to use it for decoration because I thought it was really cute. And like I said, I got the tea light candles that fit perfectly in there it will look really cute um i did get a blue sharpie i don't know if this is like the best deal at the dollar store but just in case we need more sharpies when we move and then i did get some stuff for my job um i got one of these cabinet locks if you guys are looking for like child proof stuff this lock is actually really good you can kind of see how it goes on there um I've never had a problem with this part breaking. <laughs> I have had a problem of the children pulling this part and like snapping it off. But for a dollar, it actually stays really well. If the kids don't pull on this, this will last a really long time. But they ended up pulling on it the other day, broke one of them off, and then broke the other one off. So now we had to get a new one. Um... I decided to go and get ahead and get it in case my director forgets to get one this weekend. And then I got two of these fleece blankets, which are actually pretty warm. Um, but it's like the brand is Angel of Mine, um, which is like the same 
for this. It's like their baby stuff. Um, I always get the bids from there, the little plastic ones, because they're easy to wipe off. And I've heard people say that they only keep them for a couple months. Um, there's actually a lady I watch on here, and she was saying that she pretty much has to get rid of them. We've had the same ones for at least six months now. Um, because once the children are done with them, I wipe them down and then I hang them up to dry. So as long as you keep them clean, they last a really long time. You can put them in the washing machine, um, but I wouldn't put them in the dryer just because they're plastic. But I feel like if you do that, it then makes the Velcro part not as good. But yeah, but their Angel of Mine stuff is actually like really good. They sell bottles and stuff like that. So, But I got two of these fleece blankets, which that's kind of how big they are. Um, but yeah, they're pretty decent size, size to them. Um, but I got these because we only have one blanket in our dramatic center and I know the kids usually fight over it. And so I thought I would get a couple more of these and I'm sure they'll love them. And then I got a couple of signs. I guess this is supposed to be for like spring Valentine's day type thing. Um, which there is a little bit of a mark right there, but not a huge deal, but it does have kind of this like 3d thing going on so that was really cool but this was a dollar so I'll probably have this stand somewhere and then I got and then I did get one of these Iger Wishes and Samrock, Shamrock Kisses and it's really cool is that it does have the thing a hardware already attached to it I kind of wish that that one did too but I thought this was really cute to display somewhere and then when I was looking for the tea lights, I actually saw this, where they have their picture frames. I did see some other ones that had kind of some other scenes on them, but I thought this was just really cute. And again, this actually has the hardware over it too, which I appreciate that they put tape over it. Um, but yeah, so I thought it was really cute. It says home sweet home. So I'm planning on maybe hanging this up in that little like area. Um, so I thought that was really cute. And then the last stuff I get, Normally, I try not to use plastic stuff, but the week that we're moving, I'm kind of hoping to pack up all of our dishes so we don't have to use stuff, but I got two of these 48 coat cutlery sets, 16 spoons, 16 forks, 16 knives, so I got two packs of those, and then I got some of these paper plates. They're microwave safe, which I thought was pretty good, and there is 40 of them, um, so yeah, so... We've used these at work before whenever we've, like, ran out of paper plates and, you know, waiting for them to send us more. They're not bad quality. They're actually pretty good. The only thing is that they do stick a little bit to each other, so you do have to pull. But I got 80 of those. I don't think we'll use all 80, but never hurts. And then I got some of these, like, blue cups, which great about these is, like, you can actually, like, wash these if you want to. So instead of a 16 count, it's now a 20 count, which I thought was really great. So yeah, that's the whole haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in my next one.